So for part two of the video, um, I'm going to try and thermoform and fit the mask to my face. They recommend using a hot, glue, uh, hot air gun, uh, which would probably work a little bit better, but I used hot water just because it's what I had in my hand. And I got this result. A uh, couple problems you can see right off the bat. First off, the chin piece um, doesn't seal. And it doesn't have a way to really do that unless you like solder it or hot glue it in place. Uh, the nose piece has some reinforcement right here. So it's really hard to bend. And I couldn't get this to fit my nose at all. Um, the other issue is this peel. This is just normal um, ColorFab peel A. And even for what I was testing on, my face got really wet and really sweaty and swampy within a couple minutes. Um, so you're not going to have medical personnel or people going outside trying to breathe with this and have a big plastic piece against their face. Um, it's just too uncomfortable and you're going to have rashes and it's going to make, it probably would make a good seal, but you're talking about basically sticking a piece of plastic wrap around your face at that point. Uh, the two vents that uh, 3D Universe put in um, definitely helped. And with two vents, uh, you can't, you can breathe normally with this. But if you had to do a lot of heavy exercise, it probably wouldn't work. Um, wouldn't let through enough flow. And this is without any filter media in it. Um, I did modify a couple things. I did put some lollipop handles on the screw caps. Those were to try and make it easier to take on and off because I noticed when I tried doing it, um, the original caps um, pretty much sat close to flush with the top of the fil uh, filter cavity. And it was just hard to turn and you couldn't really get anything on unless you used like a, a spike or something to turn it. So I did that and also... I uh, made a grid to insert inside because their original one was a waffle pattern like this. If you have something like a Luzbot or one of the other printers that does more industrial printing with a bigger nozzle, this is hard to print. Um, so I downsided this on Tinkercad. But I can't recommend the Copper 3D mask at all. It's It takes too long it takes like an hour to print. If you're going to try and form it to your face, you have to custom form it to every person, so there's more time and hassle doing that. Uh, cleaning is going to be an issue. You can soak PLA in bleach or alcohol or any sterili sterilizing agent, but that hasn't been validated for medical use. So there's that issue. Um, just the form and fit of this is just terrible. It won't fit. It doesn't mold well around your face. Um, you you can spend a lot of time putting in like foam seals, gasketing. One time I was even thinking of um, cutting up some uh, refrigerator tubing and using this as a seal. Um, but this is tubing I've got for another project. And you're talking about cutting up tubing trying to glue it onto a mask, get it to seal around a lot of compound curves. And so it's just an operation that would just take too long to do. And 3D Universe basically gets um, foam material and uses that around their mask to try and seal that in. So you still have to tape that in. You still have to worry about cleaning it. So, yeah, just... I'm not going to release the STL files for the modified parts I made. Um, and I think if Copper 3D wants to keep making a mask, they need to make a serious revision. Uh, look at some of the others that come out that are actually closer to what conventional masks look like now. Even if it is a conical shape or something that might take a little longer to print, if they want to continue peddling their Copper 3D filament, as like antimicrobial and medical use, that's fine, but they cannot keep using this mask as a way to sell their product. 
because um, this mask just would not work by any standard at all. Um, it might be okay for cosplay, and you could easily cut off a piece or mount other things to it. Um, it does. It would be a good cosplay piece. Um, but that's about it. You can't. You would have to spend two or three hours forming and gluing and sealing and everything else on this for every one hour you spend printing. Um, so I think altogether, like the print time with the mask and the pieces uh, comes out to about two and a half, three hours. So for three hours worth of work, um, you're better off going asking someone who sews with a sewing machine to make a dozen cloth masks because those would breathe a lot better uh, be a lot more comfortable and just a lot better overall fit because you could fit those easier and they breathe so you could not have to worry about it but um, Copper 3D needs to revise this because this is not acceptable for any medical application So, uh, part two of this video, I'm going to try thermoforming the Copper 3D mask to my face. Um, just pouring hot water, and this is uh, PLA, so it should it is already pre-bending. So I'm just going to let it soak in hot water for a minute, and then uh, thermoform it to my face. And I'm just going to use some string right now for holding on. Uh, make sure you wash it off in case you got any glue residue or anything on it. There, what? And just hold it. Right. 
trying to get the nose piece here. Can't get the nose form up real well. Just trying to fit it on it's gonna take a lot to thermoform this um so maybe if i had a hot if i use like a heat gun or a hair dryer i can maybe get this to work but i'm having a lot of problem getting this part here to fit around my nose and i could already tell i'm not getting a seal at all around the chin here so i would have to come in and like hot glue or seal this up uh, Breathability right now is okay. Uh, yeah. So breathability is okay, but already I can tell it's going to be a, this would be a very uncomfortable mask to wear. It doesn't breathe at all. Um, the vents, two vents will let in enough air, but just, so if you're work, running around and doing a lot of heavy work, this probably would be hard to breathe through. Um, the material is PLA, which is similar to what, um, copper 3D wants, but yeah, just having an unbreathing plastic against your face is going to be super uncomfortable, and there's no way you're going to be able to wear it all day without getting major rash against your face. So I can't recommend this as a mask for an outbreak. It might be good for cosplay. You can maybe make this a, into a cosplay mask, but I think copper 3D has good intentions, but this mask design isn't a good one to make, so I'm going to recommend that you get a fabric mask and you find someone local who's sewing them and ask them for a mask or pay someone local to make it for you.